What's good? What's poppin', y'all? Welcome back to Boo TV. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for stopping in. And let's get into the topic for today. Um, looks like Victor Wembanyama has led France into booking their ticket into the FIBA World Cup Games for 2023 behind a 19 point for rebound performance and then today we are going to check out his highlights and see how he played and see how he was utilized in this victory versus uh bosnia and company all right last game in his debut they moved him a lot off the ball took the ball out of his hands let him get position let him get in his sweet spots dump the ball off to him either in the post or via cuts to give him easy baskets at the hoop. And I'm curious to see if they uh, use the same game plan here in game two where they punch their ticket. But let me shut the hell up because y'all ain't here just to watch me talk on the screen. We trying to look at the boy Victor Wembe. Yama, you feel me? All right, let's check out the highlights. Right here, he has the ball at the top of the key. One leg. Oh my god. One legged jumper. He's going to dump it right there. He's going to shoot that joint. A stroke. Seven foot four, man. What you going to do with that? Even when his feet hit the ground again, he can still block the ball just because of his length. Great pass. It's a blowout. Victor wasn't even going super hard. That's a dunk. Again, I liked what I saw there, utilizing him off the ball. And in the last episode that we did about his premiere with France for the uh, the World Cup qualifiers, one thing I said is that I liked him moving off the ball, getting his position, making simple cuts, getting set up in the post because there's less chance for injury when you play like that versus starting at the top of the key, you know, doing all that dribble stuff, barreling in the players. Um, downhill, you're more likely to get injured or players contesting jump shots and sliding under your feet and taking that body contact. But you wonder why, you know, you know, you look at players that really don't have players that thrive in the post more usually aren't as usually aren't as injury prone um, because they're not subject to the same type of, you know, torque body movement and type of contact that you know point guards and shooting guards and to a lesser degree small forwards deal with uh the game is much more versatile now so you know a lot of players have some type of guard skills but but you can see the times where he did have the ball at the top of the key and went to work in isolation he was usually taking some type of contact or falling to the ground um you know even with that one-legged jumper that he shot fade away kind of leaning left you can easily get injured in something you know, like that versus, you know, just catch, get in position, back to the basket, catch the ball, quick pivot foot, finish a layup at the rim. So, I, I and like I said, there's a balance for everything. We definitely want to see him expand his game and continue to improve at the top of the key because he can cause all kinds of problems being a shooting guard and point guard at that size and stretching, stretching the floor with his height. Um, and the type of defenders that will be guarding him. So there's 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 benefits to it, but it's good to see him move off the ball, get easy baskets, conserve energy, and prolong his health. But it seems like they went with a similar game plan as they did the first game. It was a blowout. He probably didn't even need to play the fourth quarter, and he wasn't even going super hard. So uh, like, like what I saw, though, man, the guy has a sweet touch. Sweet stroke, dribble the ball, body control, contorts the body, all that stuff. So big shout out to Victor Wembanyama and France. Congratulations on punching your ticket into the FIBA World Cup Games. Well deserved by taking down Lithuania and your debut in Bosnia and company in your second game. No question about it. Y'all let me know what you think about Victor Wembanyama in the comments section. Do you think he is the truth? Do you think he is the prodigy? Do you think the hype is warranted for Victor Wembanyama? Or do you think he will be a bus? Find out next time on The Oracles of Victor Wembanyama. The Victor Wembanyama Saga. 
Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate you. We out, baby.